he declared, a high alert has been sounded in Jammu, and security beefed up in and around the city. Schools and shopping areas have been closed in a desperate effort to protect people from further attacks. The father of a soldier that was killed in the attack declared that his son died serving his nation. He added that the two South Asian nations should come together and resolve their differences. He continued, people are getting killed every day. India and Pakistan should come together and resolve their differences. Today it is my son, tomorrow it will be someone else apostrophe s. Something should be done to stop this bloodshed immediately. Jaish e Mohammed has previously carried out devastating attacks on the Indian region in Kashmir, along the line of control, lock, that is the contested border separating the two nations. Despite India pointing the finger at the militant group, no one has so far claimed responsibility. The attack started in the early hours of Saturday when four militants entered the base armed with AK-47s, nine other people were injured. The four attackers were later killed by Indian special forces after a firefight that lasted a day, according to Lt. Col. Devender Anand. He explained, the militants entered into the residential quarters where they targeted the family members of the army personnel. A junior commissioned officer and a non-commissioned officer were killed in the attack. The operation is still in progress. We are still evacuating the trapped family members of the forces. The latest attack is part of a series of moves that have sharply escalated tensions between the two nuclear-armed nations. Most of the conflict between the two countries has taken place in the boundary separating the Indian-controlled region of Kashmir and the Pakistan province of Punjab.